we're premiering the night mode uniform. The brainchild of our athletic director, he said, we're going into the Big 12. Our colors are black and gold. We want to own having black and gold. He wanted nothing else but black and gold on one of our uniforms. Let's do it. The reason why we call it night mode, we've called it color rush. It's gone through a lot of production names, but for it being night mode, we actually have the new night head on the shoulders. So where the Pegasus was before, that's where the new night head is with just the Polaris star and the eyes in gold. Uh, no white on this uniform, except for little nuances here and there, but for the most part, it is completely black and gold. Exactly what we wanted, exactly the vision that we had going into this whole thing, and it couldn't have come together any better. So right now we're in one of the green rooms at Universal Studios in Orlando. They've, uh, they've generously opened their doors for us to be able to, to help premiere this uniform in front of all of our fans, all of our, our, our city, one of the most recognizable places in the entire city of Orlando at Universal Studios. And Halloween Horror Nights, Clayton Gathers, the UCF legend, getting ready to walk out, show everybody what this uniform looks like, and premiere it to the world. All right, Cincy and UCF, Knights coming off a beatdown by East Carolina last week. Yeah, I think this game will be a little bit closer, but I think Cincinnati's defense is going to um, take over, so I got Cincinnati win a close game. A lot of people thought maybe a game day location for this particular game because Cincy and UCF obviously have been so damn good in that conference. The better team, though, Cincinnati. Give me the Luke Fickles running down to Orlando. I concur. Cincinnati's the better team. I just think they're going to lose. I'm worried because Bears might hear there about big, big opportunity for UCF. This is their week. They got a chance to really go after Luke Fickle. I'm going to go four across. I'm, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk you it. Serious? Going Cincinnati right here. I think they can uh, win it. In a game where most predicted the victory for the Bearcats, the Knights saw it as an opportunity to once again prove the doubters wrong. Hey, this is our time today. Let's flat get after these guys. Homecoming weekend. A rivalry game and the debut of the night mode uniform. Everything was aligning for the Knights to put on one heck of a show in the kingdom. After coming up short in the last three matchups, the Knights were hungry for redemption. That's what I'm looking for, for the whole game. Now, your name. Your name matters. But if you don't go out there and fight, nobody will remember your name. The great ones, how they remember your name, they remember that you went out there and you fought your tail off. You fought your tail off. That's how they remember your name. Nobody remember a guy that ain't even tried. You can't be remembered if you don't go fight. You can't be remembered if you don't go out there and let your past do the speaking. Your name is all you got. You protect your name. You protect D-Block. You protect the name that's on the back of your jersey. We're going to go out there. We're going to fit this run. We're going to have fun. Match my energy because I ain't going to change. Look at my eyes after the first quarter. Look at my eyes after the second quarter. Third, fourth. It ain't going to change. Don't let yours change. Let's go out there and have a great day. Break it down. Let's roll. Hey, D-Block on three. D-Block on three. One, two, three. D-Block. All right. Just like we talked about all week, roll your sleeves up. Let's hit these guys in the mouth, and it's got to be 60 minutes. And, hey, it doesn't matter what the score. It doesn't matter. It's next play mentality. Leaders lead. I cannot wait to watch you guys play. Let's go whip these guys back. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. And the 2022 edition of UCF and Cincinnati is underway. And it off and tackled right there. Josh Ellis for the TFL back of the 17-yard line. And they'll pitch it near side with blockers at the 50, at the 45, at the 30. A little reverse keep by Richardson. He's to the 30. Johnny 25. Johnny 20. Johnny spins all the way down to the 16 yard line. Colton Boomer stays perfect. And UCF's got a 3 0 lead. So points on that drive. By Harvey, one headed cat, 30, 35, he to the 40, 45, Harvey, a cross midfield, knocked it about. Oh, RJ Harvey, one handed on the ball that was a miss. Harvey on the right of Plumley, and he keeps it, he's got a first down inside 20, 15, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown, RJ Harvey! Double deuce in the end zone, touchdown, night 26 yards. Third down and 9 of the line, 44 yard line. Back. Throws him back at the 40, 
seven yard line. He caught a little bit too much for the nice shot leader. Trayvon Morris Pratt gets his fifth of the year, and the Bearcats have the punt. A big hit from the Cincinnati defense sidelined John Rice Plumley for the rest of the game. The Knights would turn to sophomore quarterback Mikey Keene, who was no stranger to leading his team to victory. Throws pass is tipped incomplete, and will force a field goal try for Cincinnati. Kick on the way, it's up, and the kick is good. Halftime score, game. UCF 10, Cincinnati 6. We're back with our halftime festivities in a moment. This is UCF football. Can't get tired. Can't get tired. We'll figure out that at the end of the game. Our 20 minute break, we're going back out there to go to battle. All right? Do not let up. Get what you come. Get what you come. Hey, deep black on three, deep black on three. One, two, three. Not the way you start. Oh, let's go, baby. We're in great shape. We're winning the game. The best second half team in college football. There may be some ups and downs. We win the football I'm game. I'm a bigger Let's go. problem when I quit the spring. Murder on my mind. It's time to pray to God. My revolver's not religious. The revolution's born. Shot take this. Ball's free. Ball's free. Who's got it? It's touchdown. UCF. Trayvon Lawrence from the pistol. Let's go. 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 And the free kick coming to UCF. Get the angle, he does for 45. Johnny, the 40 yard line just picked up. 30 yard line, he's got a first down. Use that stiff arm as he made the turn outside to get to the third. One for RJ Harvey, he picks up nine, it's first and goal. William Cole's in motion. Bowser to keep it. Bowser to the two, to the one. Bowser! He scores with 436 to go, and the Knights go on top 18 13. Two lead changes in the fourth, including a Bear Cats touchdown with 304 left. Saw the Knights trailing by three late. With payback on his mind, King was a perfect 4 for 4 for 57 yards on the final drive while hometown hero R.J. Harvey ensured it to be the happiest of homecomings for Night Nation. The give is hard to the 10, to the 5, to 1, he's in, touchdown, R.J. Harvey for 17 yards out with 48 seconds to go, and you see it takes the lead. What a run by R.J. Harvey at quarter zone. What a day he's had in the Knights lead 24-21 with 48 seconds to play. Yard line, three down lineman for UCF. The snap, Bryant back, Bryant looks, Bryant uh, is hit. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Katie McDaniel lost it, it's still free to the ground. Who has it? 25 21 Knights. Lineman for UCF. Back to throw. He looks, he looks, he looks, he looks, he dances, he throws downfield. It is tipped and incomplete. And that'll do it, and UCF is going to win it. The Knights, victorious on homecoming. They beat the Bearcats of Cincinnati, 25-21. They improved to 6-2 and 3-1 and and of the conference and very much alive in the race in the American. Final score, UCF 25, Cincinnati 21. The Knights get a big homecoming win. I mean, that's something that will help build from here on out, man. So I want you to enjoy this. Here's what we talked about. Stop the run. Dang, I got water all over me. <laughs> 55 rushing yards. Yeah! Over 200 yards rushing!
That's what we're gonna do. After snapping Cincinnati's 19-game AAC win streak, the Knights look to keep the momentum going as they travel west to take on the Memphis Tigers.